What is up, watch people? Welcome to another edition of Talking Time Pieces with Tony. Today I am wearing my Mont Blanc Heritage Salmon Dial 40 millimeter on a green alligator strap with a Vacheron Constantin deployant clasp that I had from when I had a Vacheron way back. Um, I found it in a drawer, so I just like, oh man, I forgot I had this, so it's awesome, I have it. Um, this is a great watch, you know? I don't, I just, I think it uh, just deserves so much more attention than what it's getting, but on the same note, I'm kind of glad that it doesn't because then I can say, hey, you know, I know what I got. All right, so let's uh, talk about gray market, buying a new Rolex and watch flippers and the market, all right? Um, again, all of this is my humble opinion, but uh, all right, let's, let's, Cut to the intro and we'll get, to, we'll get. First and foremost, I just want to say the market hasn't crashed, all right? And I know there's so many videos on this and, and people are talking about it and everyone has their opinions and again, that's pretty much what it is. Nobody has a crystal ball. Nobody can tell you or predict what's really going to happen, okay? So all of these, no matter what channel you're watching, it's based on opinion. It's not any fact in this, okay? So um, what's happening right now, it's... A really good time if you're looking for that Rolex that Submariner that sport model um, right now I think is your best time to buy it um, some of these watches are coming down pretty dramatically and you know I mean I say dramatically it's not again it's not crashing but I can tell you that um, the no date sub that I have I think when I got mine April in April beginning of April I think on the gray market or you know secondary market they were uh, low 16s and up to 20 grand is where I saw them on Chronos 24. That's, you know, it was pretty heavy. It's a lot, a lot of money for a $10,000 watch, right? So, um, and now they're floating around mid 13s and still up to 16s. And I've seen, I think one or two at 17, but you're looking at around 13,000. They've come down several thousand dollars. Okay. So, and again, I'm just going with the sub and, uh, I haven't followed, you know, the high, the day dates or any of that. I just don't know what the market is on those. I know some of the really hyped watches have taken really dramatic hits, like the OP, like the, you know, the turquoise, the Tiffany blue or whatever, those ones, the colors. And so, um, and right now, just because of the way the market is, uh, the stock market, you know, that kind of runs everything. What's going on with the economy and what's going on in the world right now? People are now kind of hanging on to their cash a little bit more and not willingly just going out and spending like we were spending prior. Um, and at the same time, you know, people were, what happened was, okay, so with the gray market, you know, you're, you're, you, you could say buy your Submariner from an AD and before you walk out of the store, have it sold for thirteen, fourteen, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000 on the secondary market and you just made a profit. So basically what that is, is, is Rolex is, the ADs are giving you money, right? So that, that's why they're selective also in who they're, who they're selling their watches to. They don't want to sell it to a flipper. You know, they want it to sell it to, to someone who's genuinely interested in the watch, you know, because essentially you're walking in there and they're writing a check for three or $4,000 on top of the watch you just bought. So, you know, so, you know, they want, they want people who are going to keep their watches. The problem is, is that with the gray market, um, and people that were getting watches, I'm not talking about the shady ADs that were selling through the back door to flippers, okay? Those guys probably still exist. Um, I'm talking about what, hap what what started happening is people that were legit fans of Rolex started getting greedy and saying, hey, you know, I could get one of these watches because I've got a purchase history and whatever, and then I can make an extra few thousand bucks by flipping it. And that's, I think, what was really happening too. There was... Um, I'm getting a text right now from, from my AD. So <laughs> I love you, Juan. I'll get back to you in a second. Um, I was, uh, we're going back and forth about an OP. So, um, having said that, um, without losing my train of thought here, um, the, the market has started filtering to like legit buyers that would have never thought about flipping a watch before, but then realizing, Hey, I can make some money on this. 
and then everyone was selling to the gray market. Watches were getting so now what's happening now is that these secondary markets, uh, retailers, secondary retailers and, and gray dealers and whatever are flooded with watches. They have too many subs. They have too many Omegas. They've got too many of everything that they are trying to sell now and they can't sell them at the amount that they were initially selling them because the markets come down. So essentially what's happening is now the gray market's flooded. A lot of these secondary market people that buy legit places, Crown and Caliber, Watchbox, things like that, they don't want to buy your watch. What they'll do is they'll offer you a credit for the watch if you wanted to sell it. Um, I just know someone at Watchbox that, you know, and how they how they work. So they'll, instead of saying, well, we'll give you $12,000 for your Submariner, uh, what we'll do is we'll give you, uh, you know, $12,000 credit, okay? Now, if you buy a watch that say $8,000 credit, you got that $4,000 outstanding, they won't give you cash back for that. That's, four, that's an additional $4,000 credit that you have to spend in their store. So now it's getting tougher to flip those watches like people were doing because they've got an overabundance of watches. People were just getting from the AD and selling and selling and selling and selling. So now they're flooded. So in a sense, you can't really flip the watch like you used to be able to just a few months ago even, all right? So if you're going to buy a Rolex now, you better make sure you, you not only got the money to do it and you're not you're getting yourself in debt for it, but that you really want that watch and you're going to keep it and hang on to it, you know. But because of that and everything with the market coming down like that, it's a lot easier to get a better price on the watch you want. Okay, so if you don't want to wait with your AD for two years or whatever on a sub or a GMT Master Pro, Pro you know, uh, or Explorer, whatever it is you want, Instead of waiting and having to spend, you know, have that spending history, buying other watches you don't want, you're better off now just going to your secondary market and spending just an extra couple of thousand dollars as before instead of spending an extra four or five thousand dollars or more depending on the watch you want and get the watch you want and hang on to it. If you spend a couple of thousand dollars more, you know, you're always going to be all, you're always going to have a value to that watch. You're not going to you're not going to take a huge hit when you sell it. You might not get a profit off of it, but why are you buying the watch in the first place if you want to get a profit? Really, watches are meant to be enjoyed, you know what I mean? Anyone who goes out and buys a watch and just puts it in a safe to hang on to it for but you know, life is short, man. Enjoy your watch, you know. So, I guess having said that, Will the market go back up? I'm sure it will because just like any market, like the stock market, it fluctuates. It goes up, it goes down, it can go really far down, but then it can come back up. Right now, it's just come down and to a point where it's like, yeah, I don't, you know, and it could continue to go down. Don't know. But I would say at this point in time, if you want your, uh, your Rolex now without waiting on your list at the AD or spending, uh, you know, on watches you don't want, then get it on the secondary market. You know, you'll, you'll have the watch within a few days or a week and you can enjoy it. Um, and remember, that's what it's all about. It's about enjoying it. This is a hobby that we love, you know, because we love watches. Me, I'm so passionate about watches. You know, I'm not in it for every watch that I've sold through my years. Of, you know, I'm not saying every watch. I mean, I lose money. You know what I mean? It's like if I'm bored with a watch and I don't want it anymore, I'll, if someone wants to give it to me and I take a loss on it, then so be it. But at least someone else is going to enjoy that watch. You know, it's not about money for me. Um, this channel isn't about money for me. I don't make any money off this. I do it because I, I have a legit passion for watches. So having said that, thank you everyone for liking and subscribing. Uh, please like, subscribe, and share. Do all those things that you like to do. And uh, on that note, talk to you later. Thanks.